Hello everyone and welcome back to CJ Explores. We are in Broome and we are going to show you how much fun you can have with a two wheel drive here in Broome. We are in Chinatown and we have just had some brunch at the Dragonfly Cafe. I had these beautiful vegan fluffy pancakes with vegan ice cream and berries on top. Corey had vegan ice cream in his ice mocha and a beautiful juice. And now he's going to have a little walk through Chinatown. We are at the old outdoor cinema here in Chinatown and look at this, we've got all these seats in here under some shade uh, but you can book tickets online and you can enjoy a movie in the evenings, it's really cool. Okay, so one of our tips that we have just come across since uh, being in Broome is to download the Explore Broome app. We have been using it to learn a little bit more about the places that we're visiting, about the history of the place, the Chinese heritage and the Japanese influence. Also, why all the buildings are made of corrugated iron, it is all on the Explore Broom app and if you have some headphones you can listen to it as you're walking around and it will tell you some very valuable information about each location you visit, so we think that's great. We just popped into the Pass Valley store, um, they are pearl jewelers and we, the lady was in there so nice, she let us see the largest pearl that they had in there. It was like a marble on this beautiful necklace and then she showed us the most expensive piece of jewellery had in there. It was just shy of $300,000 and it was this beautiful, bracelet? thick like bracelet and yeah, it was really stunning. 3,000 diamonds. <laughs> 3, diamonds. GG, you'd love it. <laughs> they gave us some fans, which is handy because it's falling. This is an old pearling lugger. As I said, it's got a huge pearling history in Broome, so pretty much this whole street was all just pearl jewels and yeah. pearl history. They used to go down in these like steel diving suits, they looked horrific. <laughs> it's really, oh look, you've got a helmet there. <laughs> it was, you could hear like, you know when you put a shell to your ear and you can hear the sea? It sounds like that. The shells, $10. We've just learned that the diving suits that the pearl divers used um, was a helmet, it was like a rubberized canvas suit, and the last piece to go on was a little glass window inside the porthole that they looked out of. Uh, when they were down there, there was an air pump that was hand operated on the boat, and that just seems crazy to me that they would go down there trusting that people on the surface were gonna keep providing them oxygen for their whole dive. I don't know if I would trust that. <laughs> to Roebuck Bay and look at and it's the tallest point in town. You have this beautiful view of the bay. The colour is amazing, it's like the blue contrasted with the uh, vegetation it's just so beautiful. And then this shade is really cool. They have some um, designs in the roof and the holes create this pattern on the ground. It's really cool. But there's been a few people up here just enjoying the shade and there's a nice breeze from the coast too. Next stop on our broom adventure is Entrance Point. It's the boat ramp right down by the wharf or the port. And this place here has a cool little feature. It is a window seat. Uh, we're gonna go find it. Um, but from here, man, that water looks so blue. Oh, and there might be dinosaur footprints here. So we're gonna go have a hunt for those too. A little one. There's quite a few jellyfish scattered along the beach. And we tried to do a Google lens to see what type of jellyfish it is, but we're not sure. Anyone? They are red, jelly like. We are back on the dinosaur trail and once again we're using the Explore Broom app to try and find the locations. I think it is on the far side of this little rocky outcrop. Um, so let's go have a look. I'm not sure this could be them but 
There's three different types of tracks, like one's the obvious like free footed and then one's like a long one footed dinosaur print. So we're not sure if this is them. We don't have an exact picture of what to look for, but it was just in this location and this image is where they showed there were some. We think that they're here. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not convinced this is them though. We have come to Cable Beach for sunset. Probably the most iconic thing you can do while you're staying in Broome. And there's also the camels. I think everyone knows Broome because they see the camel shorts at sunset on Cable Beach. We're not going to ride a camel. We're not going to drive along the beach in a 4x4. But we are going to go and try and just sit down, watch the camels go by and enjoy the sunset. So this spot here on Cable Beach is actually a favourite spot for many people to come and drive their four-wheel drives. If you come down here you go north of the rocks, so there's an entranceway uh, near the Surf Life Saving Club. And you can come onto the beach and just park up in your four-wheel, like all these people are here, and just enjoy this beautiful sunset. Another day, another adventure in Broome and this time we have come north, about 20 minute drive um, out of Broome and we have come to Coconut Wells. Uh, we are trying to look for some cool little um, rock pools that you can bathe in and we are not sure we're in the right place but we're going to go over some sand dunes because I read online that that is the way to go. Uh, there's a lot of footprints here as well so I think we're on the right track. Right, so we have come pretty much directly out from the car park, straight out to the beach, and then it looks like it is down to the right. So we're gonna head down there now and have a little look. The landscape out here is really cool. It's like, I don't know, surface of the moon. It's really open and reflective of the low tide. It's just like nothing there, but it's really beautiful. But I think we've nearly made it to the rock pools just up here. I can see a few people, so. I'm gonna go where the people are. Here we are at Coconut Wells and as you can see it is a network, a series of all these small little tidal pools and they're kind of making a little river as it flows back towards the ocean. The water gets caught up here at low tide um, but it is slowly draining out and I'm gonna send the drone up and see what it looks like because I think up there is gonna be awesome. They're like minuscule, minuscule. It feels like little shards of glass in my feet. Oh, I sat down as well. This place is so strange. We've come up to the bit where it's all really sharp rocks and in each of these little pools they're at different heights um, they have different environments some of them have some seaweed and rocks and fish in them some of them are just sand um, but it looks like the little animals get trapped in here when the tide changes when we get a low tide um, and we're just looking for a cool one to bathe in. We're both getting loads of little like it looks like tiny bits of fiberglass in our, well, our feet. Those people there, we asked them and they said they've not felt it and they're in the water and they're everywhere. No one else has mentioned it. I don't know if we got it a bit further down when we went in the sinking sand, but surely not. And I sat down and now my bum feels spiky. So I don't know if it's just some like really tiny, sharp sand fragments we've got in us, but it's a shame because I wanted to go in the water. I'm too scared. Don't be too spiky. Okay, so we have come down to Roebuck Bay. It's actually the massive bay, but this is one little part called Simpsons Beach. It's down near the port, and it is something that just doesn't seem real. The colors here are just insane. This 
place is stunning, like the colours of the red rocks and the sand and then you have like the most blue ocean and the green mangroves. All the colours together just looks so nice, it's so vibrant, it looks like everything's just been saturated. And you don't even have to edit photos that you take from here, they just look so nice. You can't swim in the water but we'd love to, it looks so inviting. Um, but we have to resist else we might get stacked. Okay, we are at Gum Thumb Point right now and this place is particularly cool because you have really red rocks. There's a lot of the cliffside which is broken away and exposed and you can see the stratification below. Uh, there's also some dinosaur footprints out here but you need to come here at low tide and we have also found a little fairy pool. We have come to town markets and these are special because they occur at the same time as the full moon and we are here for the staircase to the moon. Very excited. We've got an hour or two to wait so just come down early, grab some food. We've already smashed some veggie noodles, we were starving. Yeah. Corey was shaking, he was so hungry. <laughs> so now we're going to go find some more food because I'm still hungry. <laughs> Next up is a yummy veggie curry. Second dinner to share for the evening. And Corey just has some potato twizzlers. So town beach is starting to fill up now as we all wait for the main event. Everyone is down here with their families, picking a little spot on the beach because the moonrise is gonna happen just there. The moon rides in about half an hour, so we decided we're going to make our way around the jetty where we can try and come through because we think um, that is where the moon is. Well, we've had this app and it says the moon's going to be over there, so we think if we just go around there, maybe the moon is going to be Okay, the moon's going to come up there, so we need to keep going around. <laughs> this is a bit gross. How was that experience? Uh, the moon was amazing, but I really don't like this. I'm stuck and it's freaking me out. Yeah, that was good. did see some bioluminescent plankton, that was really cool. Oh, that was a long dip. <laughs> I don't like sinking things. Uh, but yeah, we saw some bioluminescent plankton. Uh, not seen that in a while, so that was cool. Well, it could have been worms, bioluminescent sea worms or something. Or something that glowed in the dark. Yeah. 